How's it going guys, JCVP11 here for GN Tech and welcome to a camera comparison between the HTC U11 and the Samsung Galaxy S8. Right now I'm in my car and recording this from the front facing cameras on both of these smartphones. I'm also going to be switching between the audio profiles on these cameras to let you guys know which phone performs better while capturing audio. With that being said, let's move on to some primary camera footage. So here at a scene from CityWalk Dubai, I think it's really hard to tell both video cameras apart. We're gonna need to pause to really compare the quality. I feel like the S8 makes for some warmer video compared to the U11, which is colder and I don't think that's a bad thing. And while the picture may be slightly more contrasty from the S8, I think the U11 does a better job of capturing detail in the shadows. As far as optical image stabilization is concerned, the S8 is the Clear winner. As I'm walking, footage from the S8 is a lot more stable and smooth compared to the U11 and the effect is more pronounced when I'm running where the U11 produces some jerky motion as opposed to the S8 making for a comparatively better experience. Now before we go any further, let's get some technical specs out of the way. On one hand, the U11 sports a primary camera of 12 megapixels with an f1.7 aperture. The unit comes with optic limit stabilization and the ability to take 4K video at 30 fps. The front selfie camera is capable of 16 megapixel photos and up to 1080p or full HD video. Moving to the S8, we've got another primary 12 megapixel camera with the same f1.7 aperture. Here too, we find optical image stabilization and 4K video recording options at 30 fps. Yes. The front though, the S8 packs an 8 megapixel camera for selfies with recording possible up to Quad HD or 2K resolution. Alright, so in this first image, both phones are doing a spectacular job. It's really hard to tell the pictures apart, but if I was to choose one, I'd give it to the more punchier colors on the Galaxy S8. But next up is an example where the U11 is much better. I think the U11's picture is more well exposed overall, with accurate colors, especially the blue of the sky, compared to the rather dull looking image from the S8. Over to this picture of the trees, the bark's colors are more accurate on the HTC U11 and well exposed, but I do feel the dynamic range is better on the S8 as seen from the more controlled exposure of light in the background. When zooming in as well, the detail just seems to favor the U11's picture. Here is another example where the U11 triumphs over the S8. The colors are all around much accurate and better and just seem more punchier compared to the faded and washed out colors on the S8. Now, moving into a macro shot, both phones seem to be doing a good job. I think the green color is more accurate on the U11, but I do feel the S8 does a better job of separating the flower from the background to create this nice blurry effect. Keep in mind, both phones have the same aperture, so there shouldn't be much of a difference, but it is showing on the S8's picture. Moving over to selfies, once again, I prefer the U11's pictures. They're natural looking and much better exposed in terms of lighting, and because of the higher megapixel count, cropping in shows you much more detail. But the trend starts to change at night. Pictures from the S8 come out much better exposed and have better colors, even when it comes to capturing detail and this picture of a tree bark is a prime example. The S8 not only looks better at face value but when you zoom in, you can see how much more detail the S8 manages to capture in low light. Another win for the S8 is light control. The camera on the Galaxy S8 does a much better job compared to the U11, but you might notice the slightly better dynamic range on the U11, of course at the expense of more noise in the picture. It's the same in this picture and I personally prefer the S8's camera over the U11 at night, where there's just a bit more streaking than I would have expected. Pictures indoors with the flash on, the U11 is marginally better than the S8, where the S8 has this yellowish tinge to pictures, and as far as selfies are concerned, the S8 definitely exposes the picture well to me, but the colors aren't as natural or accurate at all compared to the U11's picture, which I think is a bit more detailed and more realistic. So with that, how are we rating these smartphones? In terms of video, the U11 is better for more natural front-facing video and marginally better video from the primary camera as well. Yet the S8 has more superior optical image stabilization and audio capturing capabilities. Next up, picture. During the day, the U11 is hands down the winner because of its superior color accuracy and exposure. Even the front facing camera is better for selfies 
due to the added detail from the megapixel count. Yet when you move into night shots, the S8 shines with better exposure of light and much less noise compared to the U11. But once again, the front facing camera experience is marginally better on the HTC U11. And so there you have it, both phones have their pros and cons and hopefully this video helps you understand each camera's strengths and weaknesses. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below and subscribe for future videos. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.